Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video we are going to solve this interesting logic problem. We need to find what it will be equal to 10 plus 1. And right here we have a lot of options. A, B, C and D. So 2 plus 2 equal to 0, 3 plus 2 equal to 4 and 8 plus 5 equal to 12. And we need to find the last row. So right now I suggest you to pause the video and choose one option A, B, C and D. Think about the answer and after 20 seconds we will check our answer and I swear it will be really interesting. So right now choose one option and write your suggestion in a comment. So let's try to solve this interesting, interesting question. So first of all we can see that 2 plus 2 equal to 0. This is incorrect because we know that 2 minus 2 equal to 0 is correct. So let's write the 2 minus 2 equal to 0. We know it. And 3 minus 2, let's write it as well. Let's use this logic. Let's change this plus by minus sign. So right here 3 minus 2 and the last row 8 minus 5. So take a look what we will have. If we subtract the, the first row 2 minus 2, we will have 0 which is really good because this is the same as right here. If we subtract right here, we will have 1. As you can see, not the same as in the second row. But if we subtract from the third row, we will have 8 minus 5. This is equal to it is equal to 3. So as you can see, these numbers on the right hand side are not the same that this one 0, 4 and 12 on the left hand side. So what are we going to do in our case? Take a look. This number is really good because right now I see the pattern between these numbers 0, 1 and 3 and these numbers 0, 4 and 12. Because if we multiply the first 0 by 4, we will have 0, which is the same as our first number. And if we multiply this one by 4 as well, we will have 4. So the same, the same number and as right here. And we multiply if we multiply this 3 by 4. We will have we will have 12 as you can see the same number by as right here. So the pattern between all of these rows, as you can see, we just subtract these two digits and multiplying by four. Right here multiplying by four, and in every case we multiply by by four. So let's use the same logic. Let's find the last row. What we will have? We will need to subtract 10 minus one. Need to get the result, we will have 9 and multiply it by, by 4, because we multiply it every time, so multiplying by by 4. So as a result, we, if you can see, we will have 30, 36. So our answer is 36, so as you can see, we solve it, and our option is option option B. So what do you think about this explanation? Maybe you have another method how to solve it, write your, write your solution in a comment, and of course, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.